we do, we always teach people conflict analysis. The conflict analysis is this process of getting the information before you can figure out how you're going to manage a conflict. You have to make sure you understand everything, everything about it. So a lot of it is thinking about what don't I know. Okay, can everybody come to the center? And I'll read another scenario. A high school hires armed security guards to manage school violence. A high school hires armed security guards to manage school violence, meaning security guards that have guns. A high school hires security guards with guns to manage school violence. Is that peace or not peace? So would anyone like to share why you're standing where you're standing? Uh, basing on the theme of UN peacekeepers, that you need to exhaust everything without using anything. So I consider it as not peace when a school hires armed men just to guard the school. Okay. <clears throat> um, there is like uh, the situation is not that clear. First, define school violence. Um, sometimes school violence is just minority. You know, minority. That it can be handled on a student, teacher, even students in that relationship or basis. So, and second, um, we find armed men, like armed men who are professional in interacting or, or like professional in dialogue or just armed men who are usually or not yet. Okay. Other perspectives? Well, um, we're talking about um, ranges here and I stood here not too far away from the middle because I believe it provided a certain level of security and, and peaceful environment for the school. Because I think a school or an educational institution would not hire armed men if the situation beforehand would not be very much grave. So maybe the school was prompted to hire these armed men because there has been an incident before that really um, shook the school's peaceful um, situation or environment and, you know, um, they had to have a certain level of security for the existing um, students in the school. Or right. So security might be one of those things that we add for peace. Yeah. Um, but you raised a lot of questions. There are some assumptions there. So in a conflict analysis, before you can really, you know, you raised questions that you would have to find out before determining what really exactly you have to, yeah, you have to figure out what are the gaps in your knowledge that you use it. 